Hey everyone, welcome to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. But now, let's get right into today's topic, which is regarding none other than VeChain. You know, if we're looking across the market right now, you guys can see we are seeing a lot of green across the board right now, and that is mainly due to the fact that Bitcoin has broken out towards the upside. We're back in the 61.8 Fibonacci retracement level, and of course, the entire crypto market is reacting to that move. But you guys know what we're here for. We're here for none other than v chain and you guys can see v chain is making some massive moves around the crypto space now you may be saying right off the bat after i say that what are you exactly talking about and let me show you guys look at the last seven days you know v chain is up 6.8 percent and there's only three other projects that are you know close in terms of the last seven day gain and that is arbitrum at uh, second and of course polygon besides that it's all the other ones are underperforming as of now on a weekly time frame so that is huge to see so what exactly is causing VeChain to make these kind of moves towards the upside and are we about to see you know a massive breakout is that consolidation phase about to come to an end is this definitely the last time uh, that we are about to see VeChain at around those prices we're going to get into that right now so looking at the price right now you guys can see it's currently sitting at two cents you know up 3.4 percent over the last 24 hours in USD comparative and up about 0. 2% in BTC comparative over the last 24 hours. Looking at its market cap, it's approaching that $1.5 billion mark and the 24-hour trading volume is almost sitting at $60 million. So the question of the hour, what is causing VeChain to make these moves? And that is, if you guys know, there is a massive, massive, um, you know, catalyst behind, you know, Chinese coins that are exploding right now and outperforming the market. And that is because China could unban the crypto uh, ban that they have, you know, placed since 2019 or 2018 around that. So now they're, you know, there's speculation. I'm not, I'm sorry, not speculation. There's like some news going around that, you know, there's going to be uh, uh, unban happening. And you can see this just happened yesterday. Beijing releases a white paper for Web3 innovation and development. This is huge. So the release of the white paper coincides with new digital assets regulations in Hong Kong, rising further interest in China's stance towards the crypto industry. So you guys know where we're headed. You guys know what's coming. And that's why we're seeing Chinese coins specifically really outperforming the entire market. VeChain is one. And look at NEO, guys. Look at NEO up 16% on the seven-day mark. So are we about to see VeChain really break out towards the upside this time around is this the end of accumulation that's what we're going to get into as always you guys know that anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrencies so looking at the price of v chain so let's go and look at what's been happening over the past few months okay so let's look at just the yearly time frame. So at the beginning of the year, we were sitting at um, 1.5 cents and we did not see that price uh, come back because we did get supported by uh, the major levels of supports that we do have on um, the V chain. But, you know, we've been in the consolidation phase for quite some time now. You guys can see literally since last May 12th. So it's been a year now that the price of V chain has held below this level of resistance. But this time around, could we finally see this really start making its move towards the upside and break out of this level of resistance? And in order for us to do that, that is a move of about 67.8%. Could we finally see VeChain do that now? Um, in my opinion, time is close by. You know, VeChain as a project itself, you know, aside from this Chinese news that's coming out, that's just huge for the entire space, not just for Chinese projects. It's huge for the entire crypto space. A country like China unbanning crypto, that brings so much more exposure. So this is huge, you know we're headed in the right direction but the question is could we see a breakout happening for vchain but remember the project itself vchain is making huge strides around the globe it's working with some of the biggest names biggest names that we hear on our day-to-day -day life and you know people tend to forget that yes you know price is not reacting right now we're still in a consolidation phase we still haven't seen altcoin season start 
And that's what people don't understand. But the people that are accumulating right now, the ones that believe in this project's vision, are the ones that are going to be successful. Um, you know, I do believe when altcoin season starts, you know, we are about to see a nice move towards the upside. And a lot of people are going to be shocked. Right now, what we're seeing happening is the VeChain, you guys can see this for yourself, is, a, you know, facing resistance as we are approaching. So, you know, we are breaking out towards the upside. You know, VeChain wants to break out. But but we are seeing resistance coming up on our end. If we get a little bit more spike and Bitcoin, you know, heads back above $28,800 mark, guys, you know, be prepared for VeChain to start making some moves. Now, my next target would be, of course, around, uh, you know, this 2.1 cents mark. That would be the next major level of resistance. But, you know, basically, if we clear that, guys, you know, we're going back to that 2.5 to that uh, 2.6 cents mark. And then, you know, step by step, you know, we're going to be headed back to that main level, guys. Guys, this is where you know we really do get excited right here and who knows you know June could be a really bullish month in my opinion again June could be a very bullish month and you know for altcoins have been lagging over the past two months now you know not much excitement in the altcoin market happening it's mainly like Bitcoin showing its um, volatility within its price but could Bitcoin really break out towards the upside um, you know in June in the anticipation of um, you know China uh, lifting this ban on crypto, you know, we could have a rally. We honestly could have a rally occurring if, you know, um, Bitcoin breaks out. That could be an indication that, you know, there's a high anticipation for this massive news that is coming out. And June could be a huge month for the altcoins. And VeChain is, you know, really, in my opinion, going to shock a lot of people, you know, especially when we break out of this level of resistance, guys, literally every YouTuber, every person in crypto space is going to start talking about VeChain, literally right after we break out of this level of resistance. And the people that were picking up VeChain below this level are going to be those uh, OGs, you know, like the ones that really believed in this project's vision. And, um, you know, they're the ones that are going to be successful. But again, only time is going to tell. But I know, um, you know, this altcoin season is coming sooner than a lot of people think. Of course, right now we're seeing BTC dominance all of a sudden spiking up again. But that's mainly because Bitcoin is breaking out towards the upside. But altcoin season, guys, I think it is near. I think it's near. We're starting to see uh trickling effect of that happening and um, you know I do have my eyes on VeChain because of this China news and I really do think that could be a catalyst to really get the VeChain started towards the upside along with other Chinese coins as well but uh, you know as long as we do break out of this level of resistance you know that's all um, I ask for and then I think you know things will start doing its organic growth towards the upside but that is it for the today's analysis let me know down below what you guys think where you could see the price of VeChain going and do you guys agree with my overall analysis? What is your overall take on this? Uh, are you guys still accumulating VeChain? What is your stance on this entire situation? Let me know down below. I love you all. See you tomorrow. Been Crypto ZX and peace out.